Good Friday morning. Currently, temperatures are in the mid and upper 20s, so we are below freezing. Your main roads have been treated, so there's going to be some ice and some glaze in a couple of spots, even with that, especially on on ramps, bridges, and things like that. But you might have your toughest time just kind of working through your neighborhood and be very cautious of all sidewalks, driveways, and parking lots. There's a look at the little apple. The visibility is pretty good, but there's certainly been some icing there. There's a look at Topeka Boulevard as we kind of zoom in uh, just south of downtown, and some folks are out and about this morning. Morning. Uh, a couple of raindrops hitting the lens, and we've had a period of sleet and freezing rain for a couple of hours now. 28 degrees, the dew point at 19. Big separation there. This air's cold, uh, still relatively dry. Uh, there's your east wind near 10. We're getting some precipitation to add up here. And the winter storm warning is for the southern counties. You get just south of Shawnee County. Uh, that's where the warning's in effect for a thicker accumulation of ice. And we do have meteorologist Becky Taylor heading in that direction to give us updates on that. And then the northern tier under the winter weather advisory for some impact. So some light snow and sleet has already worked through. Now we're going to a transition of sleet to freezing rain. And so all of that is freezing on impact, especially on anything that's untreated. And so there's going to be certainly some ice accumulation. And then there's rain down toward Oklahoma that's steadily feeding up toward Chanute right now. So as we go toward maybe 1030, 1130 and just past noon, uh, we should start going from freezing rain to rain area wide. But there's a look at what we're getting into, and it does cover all of northeast Kansas, a wide variety of precipitation based on where you happen to be here. This wintry mix, though, does continue for many hours to come. East to southeast wind at a good 10 to 15 miles per hour. So it is chilly, not as cold as yesterday, not as cold as we're going to be, but again, cold enough to have some impact here. Feels like 12 in Marysville, feels like 16 in Kansas City, and we're a lot colder all through the Central Plains than we were about 48 hours ago when we had 50s in some areas of Northeast Kansas. Uh, but what's going to happen here is it's a prevalent southerly wind and the upper wind is also out of the southwest, so numbers are steadily coming up, although still below freezing down toward Amarillo and certainly below freezing from Garden City to Wichita, so it will take some time for that warmer air to get here. There's the area of low pressure out toward the Great Basin. There's the upper energy swinging on through, and so it really wasn't a storm system of any kind. It wasn't a major winter storm. It's a, an event, a condition, a scenario, if you will, because we had the cold air in place and all the moisture is kind of running in on top of that. So cold air is near the surface, and that's why, whether it's snow or rain aloft, we're getting some particles to freeze either on their way down as sleet or once they hit the cold surface is freezing rain. So there's what we look like at 8 o'clock. Still some sleet freezing rain, especially from Topeka and along I-70 north. And then it goes from freezing rain to rain south. And certainly in the early afternoon, it's all rain. But once we get towards, say, 2 to 5 p.m., it starts shutting off. There still might be a little residual shower kind of pass by quickly. And then we'll clear out with a stronger wind on Saturday. And we'll be really cold for Saturday, Sunday, and on into Monday. But it is late January into February, which is typically our coldest time of the year. So some sleet freezing rain midday it's ice going to rain and then for the afternoon it's rain tapering to showers that shut off pretty quickly there's a look at tomorrow a gusty breeze 31 on sunday a frigid start as we get into monday for martin luther king jr day and there might be a couple of rain showers toward wednesday and thursday 